Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to print a worksheet using Microsoft Excel 2016. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I've created a worksheet here and I've left all of the default settings for Microsoft Excel as is. So that means that I've pretty much opened this up and I haven't gotten it ready to print yet. Now printing in Excel can be kind of confusing so I'm going to go over all the different options that you may need for your worksheets. Alright, so first thing that you'll see here is I have a title and a subtitle as well as some statistics and then finally a table down here. Now as you can see this is probably going to take up more than one page on a print job so let's go ahead and see how it'll look right now. So I'm going to go to the file tab to view the print preview. If I go down here to print and I click on print you can see the print preview is here. Now first things that you should notice is right over here within the thumbnail area or within this uh, print preview area you should notice the title and subtitle are off to the right and the title's not finished over here. I could also see that my statistics are off to the right and then my table is right here. Now another thing you'll notice is down here it says page one of two. You always should check down here to see how many pages your current uh, worksheet is being printed on. If I click the two it's going to take me to the next page and and we see here there is the end of my title as well as the end of the last three columns on the table that I'm working with. So we're going to need to change some settings here. So typically when I set up my print settings I don't usually do it in the print preview area. Instead what I'll do is I'll click this back button over here in the top left to take me back to my worksheet and then I'll go to the page layout tab. The page layout tab is usually a good place to start for printing. So I'm I've opened up the page layout tab and then in the group that says page setup here this is where we're going to set up most of our options here. Now this is where we could do things like change our margins, change the orientation of the page which I'm actually going to do. Now the orientation you see portrait right here and landscape right here. If you uh, have any sort of uh, length as far as the columns go you notice that ours, the last three columns, ended up on the next page. If you have that much length on your worksheet, then consider switching to uh, the landscape orientation. So if I click that here, one thing that I'm going to zoom in on so that you guys can see is right in between columns E and F, you'll see right here a dotted line. This dotted line indicates that that's where my page break is currently ending. So if I go ahead and go to orientation here and I click landscape, you'll now see that that dotted line has moved in between columns G and H. Still not quite long enough, but it's closer. So that's a good start. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you in the page setup dialog box. What I'll usually do is I'll go into the page setup dialog box launcher. That's this little tiny button in the bottom right of the page setup group. All right, now that's going to open up all of my options here in the page setup dialog box. Now you'll notice that the orientation, which I just changed to landscape, could also be done here. So again, most of the time I don't use these buttons up here. I just go straight to the page setup dialog box launcher. Okay, so I go right here and it says landscape. That's good. And then it says scaling. Do I want to fit to a certain page? Well, I've already decided that on landscape mode, the break is right in between columns G and H. So that means I could probably do a fit to. And if I click on fit to here, I could choose fit to amount of pages wide by the amount of pages tall. All right, so this one says fit to one pages wide by blank tall. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and leave that as a fit to one wide. That means that the all of the columns on the page or the, the width is going to fit with on one page. All right, so that's good. And then I'm using standard size paper. That's all good. And then I could switch to margins. Margins here. Now notice that it will give you a preview to tell you how to look. And by default, Excel puts all of the text and data in the left side and on the top. Okay, so it's top aligned to the margin and left aligned to the margin. Well, since this data here should be presented in the center, I'm going to go to center on page horizontally. And you'll see that'll move it to the horizontal middle of the landscape document. So we could see the preview right there. That looks good. The header and footer area is right here. This is where you could put in a header and footer, custom header, custom footer. I went ahead and put in a custom footer based off of the file name by clicking on the file name right there. That way if the file name ever changes, it'll be updated automatically. I clicked OK. So that's good. And then finally, sheet. Okay, so this is where you can choose your print area, rows to repeat at top. I'm not going to do anything with this quite yet, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it in just a second. So let's go ahead and just see how our print preview is looking right now. 
Now you can see, once the print preview starts up here, you'll see that everything's starting to look better. Everything was centered in the page horizontally, so it has a nice centered look, okay, a pictured frame look to it. We can see that everything's fitting onto uh, one page width as our last column is right there. And then we see down here, I have the footer, that looks good, and then it still says page one of two. That's okay for it to continue on page two, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And so we see here that I have five, uh, yeah, about five records left over from that table. So I have five records here, but I want you to pretend that you're just looking at page two for a second. If you're just looking at page two, you're going to notice that all of the print titles up here, okay, all of those headings, those are no longer up there. So if those are no longer up there, that means that we want to include those up there on this page. So rather than going into your table and manually typing these, um, to try to make them look as though they're headings, Excel actually has a way to fix that so that you don't have to put it into the data section of your table. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. Okay. Now, uh, again, I want this line right here that says quantity and stock, item number, item name, all of that to be displaying right up here at the top of page two. So I'm, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click the back button right here. I'm going to go back to that page layout group and I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to click that dialog box launcher. And then again, I'm going to go into sheet along this tab right up here. And this one says rows to repeat at top. If I click right here, now I have to choose the row that I want to repeat at top. So again, my blinking cursor is right in here where it says rows to repeat at top. And then I'm going to go over onto my worksheet and I want to repeat this row right here, row 13. So all I have to do is move my cursor right over across the 13 and click on the 13. Again, you're going to want to click the exact row number. So I click right there and it will give me absolute through absolute row 13. And then I click on print preview again. And now take a look. We still have page one looking exactly like as is. But page two now repeats at the top of the page. So that's how you repeat a row at the top of the page. That way, if you're just looking at page two, you don't have to go back to page one to reference that row to repeat at the top. All right, now for the settings along this print preview area, uh, this print button up at the top left here will print it out exactly as it looks in the print preview. Um, and the copies will print the amount of copies for that. The printer can be chosen here, so you would select your printers. And then finally, you could choose to print only your active sheets or to print your entire workbook or to print a current selection. Okay, so if I had multiple sheets and I wanted to print all of them, I would choose print entire workbook. Uh, and I would also, uh, I could also go to print selection to just choose specific sheets. I could choose which page numbers to include. So let's, let's say this table is very long. I could include pages three to five if I wanted to. Right here is how the collation is, and you could collate the pages one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, 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 two, 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 so on and so forth. Uh, landscape orientation, again, Excel is portrait orientation by default. By changing it to landscape, again, that's the change of moving our page from a vertical to more of a landscape setup. Right here, we choose our page uh, letter size. This is standard paper, eight and a half by 11. I chose normal margins and where we chose fit the width to one page, that's also right here where it says fit all columns to one page. You could also use this to scale the entire sheet to one page or to fit all rows on one page. So that's how you uh, print in Microsoft Excel. One last trick that I wanted to show you in Excel today is how to display the formulas on the page. And so I'll go ahead and click back here. If I go to the formulas tab, Okay, and let's say that I wanted to, instead of just showing the stock level, all of that, let's say I wanted to show the formulas. That's in the formula auditing group right up here. It says show formulas, and it says display the formula in each cell resulting, or instead of resulting value. So right here, if I click this, that's going to change anything to the actual formula. Keep in mind, this will adjust your column. So I would go back into the top left of A1, and auto fit those columns, oops, right there. 
and then auto fit those columns to get it back down to a manageable size. And then I would need to adjust my print settings. But again, take a look here. Instead of just showing OK, it gives you the actual formula. So if you ever want anyone to see kind of the back end on Excel on how you're setting up your functions and formulas, that is the way to do it. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how to print your worksheets as well as display formulas inside of Excel uh, before finally closing down your program by clicking the X in the top right. So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.